Kimber has a well-earned reputation for making bolt-action hunting rifles that are impressive in both looks and performance. And several years ago, the company decided to enter the tactical rifle market. Our gun of the week, the Model 8400 Patrol, is one example of Kimber's efforts in this area. While the Patrol may not sport a beautiful walnut stock, the rifle still demonstrates plenty of Kimber quality. Let's start with the Model 8400 Action. Typical of the company's hunting rifles, the 8400 Action utilizes a Mauser type full length claw extractor on the two lug bolt that provides for controlled round feeding. Other definitive features include a fixed blade ejector, a three position wing style safety located at the rear of the bolt, and a bolt release that's easy to access on the left side of the receiver. To make the action better suited for rapid cycling, especially when a shooter is wearing gloves, the bolt handle is extended and has an enlarged knob. The Patrol is chambered for 308 Winchester, and its magazine holds five rounds. Instead of a detachable box magazine like found on many tactical rifles, the Patrol has a fully internal magazine combined with a hinged floor plate. While a detachable box magazine may make a rifle faster to reload, the Patrol's mag can be topped off with individual rounds through the action port, something that usually isn't possible with most detachable box mags. The smooth bottom metal also keeps the Patrol sleek beneath the receiver for easy carrying. And that is the whole point of the Patrol, precision combined with portability in an easy to maneuver package. Kimber keeps the overall length of the rifle less than 40 inches by giving the Patrol a 20 inch fluted barrel. Weight is about eight and a half pounds. Compared to a dedicated long range rig, the Patrol is substantially less bulky. This translates to a quick handling rifle that is effective to shoot from field positions such as sitting, kneeling, and even standing, as well as from prone. And of course, the Patrol's relatively short length and reduced weight makes it comfortable to carry. The rifle's stock may look synthetic, but it is actually laminated wood coated with a matte black epoxy. This is mainly a cost-cutting measure on the part of Kimber to keep the Patrol's MSRP less than $1,500 without having to resort to an injection molded polymer stock. Kimber mates the barreled action to the stock with glass and aluminum pillar bedding. The stock keeps the open grip and straight comb of the company's hunting rifles, but combines those features with a beaver tail forend for shooting on sandbags and other soft rests. In addition, the forend contains two studs, one dedicated for attaching a bipod. So how does the patrol shoot? like you would expect from a Kimber. The rifle turned in sub MOA five shot groups with 150 grain Nosler ballistic tip and 168 grain Sierra Match King bullets during testing. The match grade barrel and bedding job certainly helped with performance, but so did a crisp trigger with a three and a half pound pull weight. The Kimber Patrol offers plenty of precision for shots at longer ranges while being mobile enough to pack over rough terrain and shoot quickly from unsupported positions. It's more versatile than a dedicated long range rifle and less expensive in many cases too. For more Guns of the Week, go to AmericanRifleman.org.